Okay, I may have a set of functions defined between minus 1 and plus 1. Okay, and turns out that legendary polynomials will become a basis for such a function. I may have functions between minus infinity and plus infinity. Hermite polynomials become a basis for such a function. I may have functions between 0 to infinity. Lagrange polynomials become a basis for such a function. All special functions that you know of and which you come across in quantum mechanics, electrodynamics, they will all be basis for some vector space. And whenever we have physically that vector space comes as our solution space, we will use this polynomials as expand in terms of those polynomials and then do not matter. So, which vector space is a physically relevant for that to our solution space? As I told you, that we have some differential equation. Its solution space will be a vector space. And what is that vector space? What is the domain of that vector space? Is it 0 to a r minus 1 to plus 1 r minus 1 to plus 1 to r 0 to infinity? And then where is it going? To a real line, a complex line. So based on these factors, you will decide which basis we use. And those special functions will be relevant in different terms. It's exactly like, so that is why sometimes I make a statement that entire quantum mechanics is generalization of Fourier series. What you do in quantum mechanics is only do Fourier series. Only thing is your basis will be different in different cases. Now what is the basis you have to solve in each problem? And the basis you will get by solving HI equal to ESI. You get the energy basis and you use that as a Fourier basis and then do entire quantum mechanics by using energy basis. So it's essentially expanding everything in terms of Fourier series. Okay, so this is um, one example of Fourier series. Of course, you will read about this in 